Today, we are going to be talking about magical correspondences. So this will be a part one video because there's like no shortage of magical correspondences. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so for those of you wondering what a magical correspondence even is, it is essentially just a symbolic magical link uh, to a person, I guess, place or thing. And you can create a like, correspondence table of places and things, possibly people, otherwise known as the correspondence table, that'll help you decide which um, item to use, candle to pick, herb to use, uh, color to wear, scent, incense to burn, that aligns with your intentions for the ritual or spell that you'll be performing. The concept, the basic concept is that everything, everything has a signature of sorts that connects it to symbols or meanings. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Anyway, moving on. What are some categories of magical correspondences? Well, many of these I'm sure you already know. Um, candles, colors, elements, moon phases, the wheel of the year, or the the pagan wheel of the year, with the Sabbaths, holidays, whatever you'd like to call them, um, crystals and gemstones, did I already say that? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Different types of metals. Numbers, numbers, animals, etc., etc. It took me a while to figure out how I wanted to do this video um, because there are so, again, so many categories of magical correspondences. And in those categories, there are a lot of different options. Like there are endless colors to go over and no shortage of crystals and stones that have correspondences. There are endless flowers and herbs that have correspondences. And I've already done a video about crystals and I've already done a video also about the moon phases. So. Since days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday also have magical correspondences and there are only seven days of the week, I'm gonna do that because that should be the shortest, right? Here's hoping. So we will start at the beginning with Sunday. Now Sunday is usually like the rest day, the reset day, the end of, the previous week, although it's actually the beginning of a whole new week. So the type of magic that you should perform on a Sunday, and mind you, you can actually do this anywhere at any point in time, but it'd be better on Sundays. <laughs> the type of magic that you should perform is a fresh start magic of sorts. Like you're, you want to start something new or create something new, the point is, new. Sundays have many associations, um, beauty, hope, creativity, self-expression. So Sundays are the perfect day to kickstart that project that you've been meaning to do for a while or start that diet, start going back to the gym, like whatever it is, start like a new year, but a new week sort of thing. And the color that correspond or the colors that correspond, I had to write all this down, so excuse me while I read. Um, the colors are amber, gold, yellow, and orange, obviously, because it's Sunday, the day of the sun. Um, planet association would be, again, the sun. So elemental association would be fire. And the deities associated or that correspond with Sunday would be Apollo, Bridget, Helios, and Ra. Crystals that are associated, Amber, Carnelian, one of my absolute favorites. I just made this like little 
charm that I'm gonna put on a necklace. Carnelian, um, gold, quartz, sunstone, tiger's eye, and yellow topaz. Plants associated with a Sunday would be um, angelica, buttercups, those little ones that you like put under your chin and they turn yellow. Cinnamon, eye bright, never heard of it. Uh, juniper, marigold, St. John's wort, and sunflowers, obviously. They're so underrated, I love sunflowers. But um, incense associated with Sundays are cedar, cinnamon, frankincense, lemon, obvi, yellow, and sun oil, obvi. Okay, next up is Monday, AKA Moon Day. So can you guess the plan and association for Monday? It's moon, yay. Which, oh, I didn't mention this, I didn't mention this with Sunday, but the days of the week also correspond to certain genders, which I don't really like to, because you know, it's it's such a flexible thing nowadays. But anywho, if you'd like to associate it with this, Mondays are feminine, um, Sundays are masculine in energy. Uh, planet association, moon. Elemental association, water. Again, moon and water, they just, you know, the tides, anywho. Uh, Gym, gender, feminine, it really all makes sense if you think about it. Deities would be Artemis, Diana, Luna, Celine, and Toth. Again, Artemis, Diana, uh, Luna, these are all deities that are associated with the moon anyway. And since Monday is associated with the lunar cycle or the moon, moving on. Crystals would be aquamarine. For the tide, moonstone for the moon, obviously, mother of pearl, another sea related, um, opal, pearl, quartz, sapphire, selenite, and silver. All of these make sense uh, and will come to make sense if you don't see how they're interconnected already. Herbs and plants that correspond with Mondays are catnip, chamomile, Comfrey, never, never heard of it. Lily, lotus, mint, moonflowers, moonwort, myrrh, poppy, sage, sandalwood, and willow. The incense would be any of those. Um, myrrh, sage, sandalwood, willow. Also, honeysuckle, jasmine, moon oil, again, sandalwood, and wormwood. Oh, how did I start at the end? Gosh, okay, so. Monday's magical correspondence, or the magic that you should perform on a Monday, would be uh, clairvoyance, divination, um, dream work, emotional healing. I know that feels like something you should do on a Sunday, but evidently Monday is the best way, best day to do it. Fairy magic, if you're into that. Anything feminine uh, with like beauty or self-esteem, self-love, whatever. Uh, fertility, feminine health, glamours, goddess rituals, all things feminine divinity, you know what I mean? Um, home, family life, illusions, and intuition. Again, something you might feel like would be associated with a Sunday and you're not far off, but the best day to do these would be on Monday. So intuition, insight, psychic ability, purity, the list goes on, okay? Um, and the colors, silver, white, gray, and blue silver obviously the moon white obviously the moon gray obviously the moon and blue the ocean i suppose okay i'm really trying to like blow through through these quickly because i don't want this to be like a 40 minute video but it's already feeling like it's gonna be a 40 minute video so apologies in advance but this is all very useful information write it down so you don't forget moving on Tuesday's magical correspondences. Planet, Mars. Element, fire. So gender, masculine. I feel like you'll be able to like, as I go on, you'll be able to pretty much guess some of these um, by the way they're tracking so far. But deities associated with Tuesday would be Aries, Lilith, M Mars, uh, the Morrigan, Tiwaz, and Tyr. I might've said a few of those wrong. My bad. Uh, colors, red, black, and orange. 
uh, again, Mars, fire, masculine. So these things make sense. Aries, God of War, Lilith, man. Okay. Although I feel like Lilith should be associated with Mondays, but you know, anyway, I don't, I don't get to choose. Anyway, crystals would be bloodstone, flint, garnet, um, iron, pink tourmaline, which I rarely ever see. Red jasper, uh, red tourmaline, rhodonite, ruby, and steel. And the herbs and plants that correspond with Tuesdays: allspice, basil, cactus, chili pepper cone flower never heard of it dragon's blood i love me some dragon's blood bro i swear garlic ginger again these things are making sense i hope um holly horseradish mustard stinging nettle onion pepper pine radish thistles tobacco these things that have a spicy vibe a spiry uh, spiry spicy fiery kind of vibe and energy you know what i mean um, and the incense would be basil, black pepper, dragon's blood, ginger, and patchouli. Another one that I love, patchouli. Okay. Now Tuesday's energy associations. Other words, in other words, the the type of magic or spells you should be performing on a Tuesday would include anything to do with breaking ne negativity or negative spells, um, breaking any type of aggressiveness or aggression competition courage defense dominance if you need a little of that in your life ego uh force hunting these are all what could be described as very masculine energies um not that they can't be feminine or anywhere in between or outside of that but generally seen as a masculine energy and even as a female as a woman you can have masculine energy in that that is good, that's a great thing. But moving on, um, initiation, leadership, lust, masculine marriage and protection, powerful protection, powerful wars, revenge, romance, sex. I am rolling my eyes, cause I'm sorry, but that feels a lot more feminine to me, but I'm, mm, not my business. Strength, success, victory, war and conflict. War and conflict. That one feels on point for masculine energy. Strength, success, victory, sex and romance. I guess. Moving on. Wednesday's magical correspondence. So Wednesday's energy associations um, would be answers. You know what I mean? Like if you, there are questions you need answered or some things you just can't figure out, meditate on a Wednesday, uh, pull some cards or pull a tarot to get the answers that you're looking for. Um, arts, another bit that ties into creativity, uh, business transactions, chance, charisma, communication, creativity, um, debt, divination, education. So. Wednesdays are a good day to do money spells. Uh, yeah, Sundays are also a good day to do money spells. Um, education, fear, flexibility, fortune. Again, a good day to do money spells. Um, gambling, luck, money, money, money. Now I'm saying, okay. Mental health, psychic work. Um, summoning spirits, which I don't know if you guys are into if you are let me know in the comments like how you got into that and how that works for you that's not something i've delved into yet because i'm a pussy but that's just me <laughs> okay so the planet association for wednesdays can you guess no it's mercury and the element would be air so the gender can you guess no that's fine it's masculine um and the deities associated would be athena Athena, Hermes, Mercury, Odin, and Woden? What? I don't know how to pronounce that or who that is. Sorry. It's W-O-D-E-N. Let me know if you know who that is. Um, the colors associated would be yellow, silver, gray, purple, orange, and like uh, mixed colors like tie-dye. Yeah. Now the crystals would be agates, any color. 
um, amber, aventurine, citrine, lapis lazuli, mercury, quicksilver, sodalite, zinc, uh, essentially any crystal or stone that one is associated with any of those deities or any of the colors that are listed or the element of air, so on and so forth. Now the herbs and plants would be um, aspen trees, ferns, lavender, uh, lilies, and periwinkle. And the incense, eucalyptus, mercury oil, jasmine, lavender, and sweet pea. But because Wednesdays are so like heavily affiliated with luck and money um, and prosperity, I would also throw in patchouli and cinnamon because those are two, those have two very similar associations, luck, money, prosperity. Alrighty, so Thursday. Thursday's energy associations and the type of magic that you should be performing on a Thursday would be um, abundance, career employment, career development, um, energetic increase, expansion, generosity, growth would be the overarching theme here, happiness, healing, harvesting, uh, loyalty luck and male fertility so as you can see some of these are reoccurring and some of these things you can do on different days of the week um money optimism power prosperity protection uh and, and riches and wealth so these are things that you can do money spells um on wednesdays or thursdays now the planet association would be jupiter um element would be earth Gender again is masculine. We're getting kind of masculine heavy here, aren't we? I feel like we are. Anywho, deities would be Juno, Jupiter, Thor, and Zeus. Very powerful, uh, especially those last two. Very powerful deities. Color uh, associations would be blue, green, purple, and like rich royal colors, like deep purples, uh, reds, gold, etc. Now the crystals, again, along the same lines, anything pretty much the same color, uh, adventuring amethyst, brown jasper, green lotus stone, um, green tourmaline, lapis lazuli, malachite, peridot, turquoise, yeah. And the herbs and plants, star anise, um, clove, dandelion, dill, honeysuckle, uh, sage, patchouli, again, Patchouli, money, cinnamon, meow, uh, nutmeg. Me yes, I did meow. Don't judge me. Um, and the in innocence, the incense would be cloves, cinnamon, Jupiter oil, musk, nutmeg, oak moss, patchouli, and sage. Friday, magical correspondence, I'm sorry. Friday is my favorite day of the week, okay? I lied, it's Wednesday, but Friday's my next favorite. Moving on, um, Friday's energy associations uh, and the types of magic you might wanna perform on a Friday would be anything affiliated with arts and beauty, birth, fertility, friendship, growth. These things sound like they don't really have much in common, but meh. Um, harmony, love, marriage, music. So it's it's we're we're reaching a theme here. Uh, partner, nature, partnerships, etc. Uh, romance, sexuality, social activities. So like social, anything, uh, romantic growth, or romantic interest of some. In form or another strengthening a romantic relationship or even a platonic relationship um yeah mm -hmm. friday's planet association is venus which makes her gender association female and her element water see i'm calling her her just automatically so her deities some of my favorites. Another reason why this day is one of my favorite days. But anywho, Aphrodite, Freya, Venus, and Eros. Mm, so cute. Colors, aqua, copper, copper colors in general. Um, green, light blue, and pink to no one's surprise, unless you were surprised, sorry. 
Crystals include aventurine, blue lace agate, copper, coral, emerald, jade, lapis lazuli, malachite, uh, blah, 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 moonstone, rose quartz, quartz in general, um, and selenite. And the herbs would be African violet, apples, apple blossoms, um, cardamom, carnations, catnip, again, uh, foxglove, geranium, hibiscus. I'm trying to list the ones that like you're likely to have laying around or be able to find in a grocery store. Uh, lilac, magnolia, roses, strawberry, sweet pea, and thyme. There are more, but I can't pronounce them and I have no idea where to find them, so. <laughs> okay. Incense, cardamom, rose, saffron, sandalwood, strawberry, vanilla, Venus oil, and yarrow. Yarrow, yarrow, yep. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, but actually least because it's the last day of the week, Saturday. Saturday's energy associations are in other words, the type of magic you might want to be performing on a Saturday is anything to do with mm, agriculture, fun, um, banishment, binding boundaries, like banishing any unwanted feelings or energy or people, uh, binding anything you need to bind, including some people sometimes basically any form of setting boundaries for yourself and your inner peace um cleansing again creativity which is going to be recurring there's a lot of periods and times where you can be creative so use that um exorcism fortune freedom hexing uh revealing things that are hidden or hidden matters in general limitations locating lost items again revealing things that are hidden uh, la, 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 la. overcoming obstacles, protection, psychic defense, revealing the truth, again, revealing things that are hidden, and spiritual communication. So you can see pretty much the overarching theme there is revealing things that are hidden, um, boundaries, in other words, some type of protection, or quite the opposite, where you're pretty much going on defense. Uh, defense, right? I'm bad at sports. Offense, defense. Yeah, going on. You know what? Yeah, going on the defensive, offensive. I don't fucking know. The point is, I hope you get what I'm saying here because ugh, I'm tired. Don't judge me. Now, the planet association for Saturday would be, I feel like you can guess this one, Saturn, which makes her gender female and her element earth and fire. So the deities would be Kronos, the fates, Hecate, Loki, and Saturn, of course. And the color associations uh, would be purple, black, maroon, dark, just like deep, rich, dark colors. Indigo, mm. it's kind of sexy, no? I'm tripping, don't mind me. Okay, crystals, Apache tear, uh, black onyx, coal, coral, hematite, jet, lead, obsidian, these deep, like really dark, I'm not, uh, not sure if I have any, I do, I think. Yeah, like these dark, dark guys. Uh, where was I? <laughs> obsidian, pewter, um, salt, serpentine, smirk, smirk, smoky quartz, and tourmaline. The herbs and plants associated with Saturday would be uh, beet, belladonna, comfrey, again, don't know what that is, cypress, hemlock, hemp, ivy, um, morning glory, yeah, skullcap, slippery elm, and thyme. Again, there are more for the same reasons. I don't know how to pronounce them or how to find them, so... Incense would be cypress, myrrh, patru, patru, patchouli, and Saturn oil. All right, so that's it. That is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry, I know that was a lot of information and hopefully not a very long video. Otherwise, you won't watch to the end according to, you know, 
you know it doesn't matter thank you for watching if you have any questions or comments drop them in the comment section below and i will see you guys next week real week after i'm doing my best thanks for being patient i love you bye